As we can see, there is two major sides of a project. One is transmitting side and one is receiving side. On receiving side, we can see there is 3 watt solar panel and 12 volt lead-acid battery and a transmitting coil. On focusing on receiving side, we have a receiving coil and two gear motors, a node MCU and LCD screen and battery side of 12 volt. Talk diagram have two sides, transmitting side and receiving side. Uh, transmitting side starts with solar panel. Uh, the power from solar panel is transferred to charging unit. From charging unit, the uh, power is transferred to the uh, LED as battery. Uh, from battery, it is transmitted to the transmitter coil, which is consists of 20 coil uh, turns. Uh, and next is receiving side. Uh, they trans from the transmitting side, the power is transferred to the receiving coil. From the receiver coil, it is controlled by the node MCU chip. And the node MCU controls all the robo uh, model. Uh, and this uh, voltage is given to battery uh, al battery also. And the, uh, it display in LED screen and uh, IoT uh, app. And uh, from, LCD, the signal, uh, uh, from LCD, the voltage is transferred to L298 bo uh, board which controls the uh, robo um, uh, motor and robo model and the IoT app is used for the uh, controlling the robo model. You can see the working of this robo model. This robo model is fully controlled by this app. This app called Blink IoT app. It has five options. You can see there is five options on this app. The first two is right and left motion and other two is forward and backward. The fifth option is to stop the all motions. Now we can see we can turn on the power on transmitting side and we control the robot unit. We can press forward motion and the ro and the robot model will lean forward. When the robo model is at the top of the receiving coil, when the robo model is at the top of the receiving coil, we can clearly see the indication of the charging. The charging is completely showed in the battery. The output voltage is indicated to the LCD screen and also indicated with the four LED screen. This is the working model. The whole working model of this robot is controlled in the node MCU and the full, fully charged will stored in the battery. EV wireless charging, how we come to practically, we can implement uh, this transmitting coil will be uh, placed uh, frequently. There will be more uh, transmitting coils in uh, fully road. Uh, and this is implementing in a, if we are traveling through in a highway, uh, this EV wireless charging have a separate track for uh, charging. Uh, 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 we can we can continue, uh, continuously charge this car when we are traveling and uh, there will be separate tra uh, track for uh, charging and others can move fastly who want to be uh, move fastly they can go other track uh, its merits are uh, we, uh, unplugging and unplugging charging methods uh, is risk so it will be help to uh, lower the risk compared to EV wireless charging. Uh, also uh, implement this wireless wireless charging in uh, charging stations also. Uh, we can charge this car by uh, putting uh, simply. We can also charge this car by uh, putting in uh, parking in a uh, EV wireless charging stations. And main demerits are uh, the cost is very high for implementing uh, in a road because we want to dig and we want to keep this transmitting oil very uh, low state and uh, so cost is very high because of the transmitting costs. If we are using uh, power, su uh, power supply from direct grid, it will be great amount and a great loss for us because we need always given supply to this transmitting coil so it will be very high and very high cost it will be cost. So if we are using renewable energy as uh, solar panel as we show in this demo, 
we if we are using solar panels uh, at day time we can uh, charge this uh, charge the battery using this solar panel and the uh, and it will be also the supply is given to transmitting coil plus uh, charge the battery also and uh, when it will be in night time the charges from the battery can we can use for transmitting the coil so there will be no uh, other energy is used from other grids it will be great advantages and a good point for uh, developing ev wireless charging that's all i hope all of you understand our concept thank you for listening us